such a friendly user interface, such believable responses. In just over 100 days, the world has been turned upside down with the November release of ChatGPT. After years of one-line responses from Alexa, including the all-too-frequent, sorry, I don't know that, the seeming eloquence of ChatGPT has us under a spell. Even more enchanting is that ChatGPT remembers the prior conversation and builds on it. Under the covers, it's a sophisticated language model, and it's just a language model. Hello, this is Trace Bannon reporting from Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. It's easy, it's entertaining, and it's just a language model. Let's get to the point. Large language models are not inherent cybersecurity risks. They are tools for the best of us and tools for the worst of us. There are reports of using chat GPT to create malware and identifying security vulnerabilities then generating code to exploit the gap. These are definite cybersecurity risks. More recently, I have growing concern about our human vulnerability, our gullibility. For years, it's been easy to spot a phishing scam. That email from a foreign prince written in broken and misspelled sentences, it was immediately obvious. The premise was silly, the spelling a dead giveaway. Chat GPT, however, has given rise to convincing phishing scams written with impeccable English language and punctuation. The premise is often believable. Mixed with basic social engineering, the resulting email can fool even the most alert and eagle-eyed recipient. The same is true of blog posts, LinkedIn entries, and Facebook updates. Large language models are often the source of convincing false information. And that new, interesting, and convincing contact? Dig into their sophisticated profile, even the photo. Yep, AI-generated. But what about our own interactions with ChatGPT? Can that pose a risk? It can when you unintentionally let your guard down as you're having a delightful and engaging chat with OpenAI's chatbot. Let's start with personal sensitive information like your full name or your email address. Financial information is making its way in as people ask ChatGPT for financial advice or help with taxes. The same is true for medical information. I can say this with certain authority because I'm guilty of researching my PT for a pulled hamstring. I've not yet spotted reports of somebody entering in their user ID or passwords, though with over 100 million users and 13 million visitors every day, it's probable. The key message is that now, more than ever, be discerning. Now, more than ever, pay attention. Now, more than ever, think twice before sharing data, even in that innocent evening just for fun chat. Chat GPT is certainly amazing as are other incredible AI models. I do believe, in years to come, we might ask each other, where were you when ChatGPT launched? In the meantime, those of us of a certain age will likely ask, is it live or is it Memorex? Something to noodle on. Search for and subscribe to It's 505, wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.